Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom. I'm Rob. And today we are going to be fitting these rear arches. Now, we actually got a couple of different types of arches yeah. before we realised we wanted these ones. Well, I um, like carbon. <laughs> and this is prepaid carbon, so... It is as good as you can get. Yeah. Now, we did actually first get wider ones, which we now are not using because yep. they're a bit too wide, aren't they? Well, yeah, I, I sort of seen the look of it and... Uh... Yeah, the silhouette's I changed, just a bit. Yeah. I changed my mind on what I like. So yeah, so we're going for these ones instead. Yeah. So we are going to do fitting today. We've already semi-fitted the other one, just so we got a bit of an idea of the best way to do it. We may have done it a couple of different ways. We shall yep. see. Um, <laughs> but before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Take one. All right, guys. So. We'll just run through a few little bits of what we're going to need to get this job done. We've got to drill, some drill bits, obviously, because you're going to have to drill the arch, drill the bodywork. Drill the body. Ooh. And drill, drill a nice carbon arch. That's a bit scary. Um, we've got some cutters, obviously a spanner and uh, a ratchet to do up the bolts that I bought. Um, so I bought stainless steel bolts. We've got some stainless steel washers. And then we've got these little rubber washers that I made. So cheeky little sheet off, off uh, Amazon. Five pound fifty, two mil rubber, just so then you put sort of rubber washers either side of the body in the arch, just to take if you do get any flex or you get someone while you're away sitting on your arch, it'll just take that little bit of balance. Plus, out. if you're gonna do them up tight, it, you could quite easily put a crack in yeah. either the carbon or the body. Yeah, and this just because you sort of whiz them up, didn't you? And then the yeah. last few, you could just and it's like, and this oh. should take a bit of that out as well. So this was like five quid. Obviously, I've cut enough out of there. We just used a like a hole punch. Um, just hammered them out, so we got them. Of course, everyone, everyone's got one of them in there. Everyone's shape. got a hole punch, yeah. And then we got some um, some P trim that that comes supplied with the kit. Yep. And this is for IVA, so it's for your like your radiuses. And, and that goes. Where do we where do we get our arches from, Rob? So these arches are from MK Sports Cars. They're pre-peg carbon ones, and they're absolutely they're lovely. Like for the money, you can't go. And wrong I just want to quickly point out. So if you hold them up, the two arches are different. <laughs> But we had, oh, to, yeah. we had to check which one goes which way around because one has a slightly, so this side has a slightly more angled cut yeah, and an angled you, finish, whereas the that? other side, if you spin it round, is more of a rounded flat finish. And we had to sort of uh, check which, way check which go. one goes where because you could obviously put them on the wrong way around and then, of course, you pull up and everyone's like, uh, chaps. <laughs> but yes, they're lovely, they're light, they're solid, and they're, they're beautiful, mate. They're pre-pegged. They're, oh, yeah. They are good. They need a little bit of a polish, but that's yeah, just where they've been stored, up. I think. What else have we got? We've got some masking tape to put on the body and uh, on the arch to mark up where we're going to drill the holes and a pen and some cutters. Now, the only things I will add that we haven't got and we're not using is some squeeze clamps because yeah. Rob bought them pitiful, oh, I got those tiny little... pitiful ones that wouldn't be good for anything. Yeah. And a bit of wood or a bit of trim or something because what you can do... Oh, what, hold it underneath? Yeah, is yeah. hold it underneath. So if you show them, hold the arch so, up. If you were to put a bit of something across, using Robert's spirit level as an idea, because you could probably use this, is basically bolt that to the bottom of the car so that you can rest the arch onto it. Yeah. Um, and then it allows you just to take your hands free. Because obviously we're lucky we work as two. You so might only work as one. We Yeah, we don't have to worry about that too much. We just both hold it and sort of use our feet to kick tools towards us to yeah. <laughs> get the job done. The only other thing I will say is obviously because we've got this lovely carbon finish, I've got a, a blanket here that will lay down so when we mark and drill all the holes on the other side. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, because in the protected. in the guide, there is a a layout of where you should drill your holes just to, so you avoid... It actually worked out quite well on the other side, didn't I it? I think we added an extra one, we? did, did we? yeah. Or and two? it avoids, basically it avoids anything metal the other side, which is always helpful. Um, one of them was quite a distance, wasn't it? So we just put something in the middle. Yeah, is it this? Yeah, fit in the rear arch panel. Found yeah. It. So, oh. so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll throw the blanket out and we'll get all laid out and we'll come back to you. Oh, it's a bit, not that sticky. This Low was, tech. This was B&Q's cheapest. Cheapest? That's because you were like, I want some, so I was like, I'll buy the cheapest one going. That sounds about right. So what we did is we started off with a top quality masking tape job, just because then you can mark it and then remark it. Oh. YouTuber failure, look. Who is it? Ah, oh, Mike and Pat. 
It's MB special. So after now Rob's dealt with all his private business, we'll uh, we'll carry on with the video, shall we? You want you want to carry on? <laughs> so yeah, just this is for a few reasons. Drilling any kind of um, fiberglass, carbon fiber, etc. is always beneficial if you use tape. You're less likely to damage it or splinter it whilst cutting. Oh, the other thing I had. You can mark it five times and Set keep square. keep putting the uh, keep putting the tape over if you get your marks wrong. You don't have to worry about, not that it matters, but marking the inside and, and leaving it with a pen on it. Not that that matters, but. So, according to the guide, it means I'm gonna have to be in the video to hold this, uh, this here tape measure. Do we have a tape measure? We do. Yeah, it's over by the so, bonnet. Oh, I yeah. threw it, didn't I? He chucked it at me, nice, lovely bonnet. So, right, where are we starting from, front or back? <laughs> uh... The picture below is of the UK passenger side wheel arch. So we need to do opposite. Yeah, so it's 65 mil. So that we decided, so at the front, there's more fixings than at the back. We worked that out, didn't we? Yeah, but I get it, because obviously you're not going to be doing 100 mile backwards. Yeah. So, so if we do, is that 55 or 65? 55, I Okay, so 55 mil up. So this is... It's going to go like that, isn't it? Yeah, but you're marking it as if it's to the way around, isn't it? Because that's as if you're going to be bolting it on like that. Yeah, and we're going to be bolting it on like that. Yeah. So I want the opposite side, which is this side. Yeah? Right, go on, I'll show you your measurements out. Is my head getting cut off or are we good? Yeah, no, you're good. So 55. Yep. Yeah. And then it's on. So uh, 135. So there's our fixings. Now, what Robbo is going to do is with his set square, mark the centre of the gap. So I believe it was 40 mil in thickness. Yep. So again, 20s, is that 40? It's just under. It's probably differs slightly because it's less here. So it's an inch and a half. So if you go three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch, we'll see what that looks like. It's about 19 mil. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, I'll tell you what actually I did, because the Sharpie's quite thick, I went like that. Yeah. And, and then, then I done. drilled the hole in the middle of that. Lovely. So, what we're going to do, we've marked all the holes up now. So we went from both sides to get the middle, all the way around. I'm going to go through with a pilot bit first, which I think we'll go through with a 4mm, and then we'll go through again with the 6mm. Yep. Sounds good. So if I go... It if, definitely helps when there's two of you. Yeah, and another thing I like to do, set it on backwards first, just it gets a little groove, and then forward. Rob's, Rob's top tips. Also, you don't need to press hard, do you? No. Nah. So we've got all the, the pilot holes drilled. Now we're gonna go through with a six mil bit because obviously we've got six mil nut and bolts. So we'll, we'll do a couple of these and then we'll fast forward. Got all our holes drilled now. We'll peel off the masking tape, then we'll go to the back of the car, get some masking tape on that, and then we can offer it up, do our little marks, drill the panel. Simple Easy. as that. Easy. Easy job, mate. Easy. With two people. Yeah. I have had quite a few comments recently. Or when you know when we went to the MK Open Day. If you didn't watch that video, guys, head over to our, our channel and look at the MK Sports Car Open Day. Really good. If you're thinking about building a kit, or even if you're not not even building a kit, and you just want to come and see some and have a chat with some, oh, the, some people. The car and coffee. Evening. The cars and coffee, yeah, they're going to do a, a daytime I, one as well. I can't make the next one. Oh, got you. I'm on night call, so I'm well gutted. Am I working? Oh, I don't think so. I'm on night call then. Oh, happy days. It's a Saturday. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to we'll try and get to that. I will anyway. Um, yeah. But it's worth going because there's some lovely cars, even just for the engineering standpoint, just have a look around and see what people have got. Really cool. Um, but yeah, there's a really good one. Oh, what's our next live going to be? I we think need to do a live. Should we do the coolant? Yeah, let's get the... We'll have a go at doing the coolant hoses. Yes, because we have adapted it some. We haven't even got them yet, to be fair, so we'll have to, we'll have to so, get them and then do it. <laughs> that's all the, the pilot holes drilled. I'm gonna, we'll have to hold it up against the body to gauge where we need the masking tape. Give you have a side for reference. Oh, uh, yeah, but... You know roughly where it's going to go. All right. Well, let's, go and, let's, go and, let's go and have a look, shall we? So now we've got the holes drilled, we can get it up on the body. 
So roughly now, this is where we wanna be putting masking tape onto the car, so then we can mark through. But what you have to do, obviously it's awkward with one, that's why they say about putting like blocks of wood underneath, but you hold it sort of underneath the car in yeah, line so with the panel. I'm not trying to get in the way of the camera, because what you wanna do is try and yeah. get that so it touches just the bottom perfectly. Just the bottom, I'm at the bottom. At the back, and then we need to go that way, Yeah. just because obviously we're by the wheel arch. And what, the way we've done it is to work out the center of the wheel. No. The hub, no, 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 we didn't do that in the end. Oh, do you remember we, we just measured from the, uh, the rim to the edge? We played the finger game. And yeah, then so. the rim to the edge. So then that distance is exactly the same because obviously the car comes up and down. Yeah. So that, that distance isn't going to change. So literally just from the rim to the edge, rim to the edge. I remember now because we were having debates, weren't we, about all the different ways. Yeah, so it. we just done rim to edge, rim to edge, and then you know your centre. Um, do your little marks through and then pilot drill them all. And, right, let's yeah. get it taped up. So we'll get some masking tape on there. Are you filming? Oh, we're on. We are live. Oh, you got your t-shirt yeah. on the door. I have, I have. Right, so, I'm in the way, aren't I? You are in the way. We've yeah. done this outside last time. Yeah, we did. We had a I think bit... it's about there. Can you hold that end? You hold this end, then I'll move. Yeah. We did have a bit more space last time. Are you tight? Yep. So if we go near the bottom on the... That's one, two, five. That's one, three, five. So you need to come five mil towards you. Just like that. And what we're doing is we're measuring to, from the rim edge, so a solid metal edge. With the expertise of me and Dom holding it at the bottom, we managed to put the arch up and measure our distance between the tire and the, the rim. Obviously in the manual, it does give you a measurement from the side, but obviously you want it to be Center. You want the wheel center of the arch. And that won't change because if the wheel gets bigger, no. the center's still the same. Yeah, and if it, this isn't going to go forward and backwards, it's only going to go up and down. So you've always want to be center. So once we've done that, we held the arch up against the body and we've done our first, we've done our sort of line uh, around the arch. Pull it off, I can show, we can show them the line. Yeah. There you go. We've done the line around the arch, just, just sort of like that. Just so then if you do slip, move anything, you've got a place to go back to. And then we've done all these little dots and these are our drill holes, as you can see. So we're gonna to have to pilot them first. All the holes are drilled, let's go. It helps if you do get some of that tape that's not that sticky. Low tack mask. Because it comes off lovely. Here yeah, looks it. <laughs> Making a lovely job there, Rob. I know. Luckily, Rob hasn't got any nails, he's just using his thumb. At least uh, no glue stuck to the bodywork. There is that. One less, one less job. <laughs> Great masking thing. You like that? Yeah. Should have bought frog tape. Look at that, look. perfect. So now, what we're going to be doing is using our concoctions of washers, which I've got over here. One tiny little bit of glue. That's my bag going. Let's grab all of these. Do you reckon I can get it? Do you want to grab the uh, nuts? Oh, nearly. Yeah. Yep, I'll Nearly get... swore then. You nearly made me swear on video. I'll get some nuts. I haven't, picked, I haven't picked up enough, but I picked up enough to get us going. Okay. Now this is probably easier with the wheels off yeah, and I the car in the air, but we like to struggle. So start with bolt washer, rubber washer, because then that gives you that nice protection. Uh, now we also need the P-trim, which I forgot to pick and up. And the cutters. And the cutters. Now this P-trim, there's probably more than one way to do it. What we did, was we started with a nice angled cut. So with this, get a nice, it's got a good edge anyway, and just put a bit of a sort of a diagonal cut just so it doesn't hang out at the bottom. Um, it's not very straight, but. That's right, it doesn't need it to It does be. the job. Um, and basically that goes, do you want to show them? Because I feel like I'm standing in the way of the camera. So this goes in between the arch and the uh, bodywork panel, and it sits flush with the front 
And obviously it goes sort of like that if you can. It's basically to stop chafing and to stop. Well, water and it's and dirt, to give you the radius. Aerodynamics radius, the air, water going down the gap, and all that kind of good stuff. So what we did, lay the arch down gent gently on this just hoovered surface. And then if you cut out the first couple, and then what we did was we marked We're about our way around. Cutters. And all we did was we just cut a V. Um, we just cut a V out of it because obviously it's going to be pinched either side once the bolt is done up, so you don't have to worry about it falling out. But it's just, it doesn't like taking a drill very well. No. So we've got a nice V over it like so. We'll do a couple. Yeah, do a couple and then we'll mark the rest with a pen and you can just pull it out and cut it and put it back in again easy. But this is the sort of fiddly bit. This I can imagine with, two, with, one, with one person. Trying to get in the yeah, arch. Yeah, will be a pain. Um, so yeah, Rob's cut a plenty big hole on that one. Well, it's hard to know, because obviously you want it. Yeah. Big enough. All right. All right, we ready? That's us for starters. Right, I'm going to have me back to the camera. I do apologise. We'll get that. But, uh, yeah. We'll get that up there. Grab us, chuck us a If I get box. these in there. Move the seat over enough so I can get my hand in. Well, might be worth taking that seat out. Hang on, throw it in for now, we'll get it. Shall I put one in the back as well like yeah. we did? So yeah, we put one in the it. back as well just to hold it. It'll have to be removed and, and yeah. trimmed, but. If you can. Right, so you can actually just put the bolt in a little bit first and then you can push the P trim in afterwards. Um, chuck us a nut just to, I'll just throw a nut on it to hold it. We'll yep. do the second one and come back to it. And I'll put a nut on my one. Just to hold them. Yeah, I can't imagine doing this with just one person. That's well fiddly. Right. That's that. So, check us another one. So we go. So everything is stainless steel. So obviously it will protect you from rust in the arch because there's going to be a lot of water in there. Okay. So I push this one through. Right, so then can I'll get you... this P trim and just push it in. And then if we... Where is it? We don't come through. Is it there? Yeah. yeah. You need a little bit more. So what we do have is a very long extension bar. Yeah, to feed through. If you push on that. Is it that one there? Yeah. It's quite awkward to get on. You need one of those... Flexi. The ones with the flexi on, yeah. Right, pass us then the bits. And they're 20 mil uh, bolts, what we're using. And that is just enough through the nylon. Literally just enough. Where's this? We've got a spanner out. Hold, hold that and I'll give you it. Cool. Right, so hold on. Pull it, pull it away a second. Is the, the nuts on anyway, so. Yeah. Can't go anywhere. I'll just push this trim in. Lift it up a tiny bit. There we go. So that trim's just in there. We'll get this one puckered up. We're not going to go mad tight, just enough to hold it. Go on. There you go. Yep. Cool. So let me give them a quick look as to what we're doing. So. Look at this, all the technology. There we go. So you see now you have that sort of trim for the radius and for the water ingress and whatever. And we're just going to carry on that process all the way around. And all we'll do is on the next one, because the hole's up here somewhere, you just sort of feed this in, pull the arch away a little bit, and you can just push it down there, you go, look. And what we'll do is we'll get our Sharpie, mark it from the inside, pull it out, cut a V in it, and work our way around till we get to the other end. And then you can cut it and it'll have a nice finish like on the end here, and we'll just have a nice finish, and that'll be it. That'll be a job done. Right, let's get marking, shall we? The best thing is to mark one at a time. If you can get a few, if you can hold it in and it stays nice and down and in the right place, then mark a few. But to be honest, you can just do one at a time if you want, because like you said, Rob's just pushed it too far in there at the top. It just kind of dips down if you're not careful, because the arch is a bit of a weird shape and doesn't always get 100% of um, flush fit with the body. So you may find that in some places there is a gap 
but don't worry because the car body will pull out a tiny bit, the arch will pull in a tiny bit, and the rubber will fill that void. Then we just need to address those horribly high offset wheels, don't we, Rob? Yes. <laughs> right, let's get that done and then we'll show you the finished article. Not filming, are you? Yeah. Huh. Just want to uh, make it shine for the audience. Get rid of all the chin prints and the forehead prints we've been trying to hold it on and work <laughs> underneath it. Knee prints, you name it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, that's the finished article. Bolted on, you got your... Oh, we need to adjust that. P-trim needs going a little bit. Uh, you got your P-trim, so that's your radius, and uh, your, your gap in between. Show them how solid it is. Yes. I reckon you could sit on it. I'm not going to, but I reckon you could. <laughs> I definitely I'm, I'm a, a big lad. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's definitely well supported. So it's all, all bolted in, it's all tight, it's solid. You've got your rubber in there. We've got rubber washers either side of each panel, stainless washers. For the most part. There is a couple you, we just couldn't get them on because uh, of the flex. What? There was the rubber, one rubber we the couldn't stainless. get on, wasn't there? Um, there is one at the back, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, one just at the back. There's one because where, the way the panel... We might, we might be able to get yeah, in Yeah, the way the panel angled and the yeah. way the arch slightly tipped inwards at the back edge, we just couldn't get it. But for the most part, they're all on there. It's not a bad job. No. It's just trying to get it symmetrical both sides. Yeah, so we, we had a little uh, panic up because I was like, oh, no, we're off. I measured the other side exactly the same, maybe like two mil out. Two mil between friends. I'm, I'm sure this, this car got built from the factory with more than a two mil tolerance. Yeah. So. so, but no, it looks, re it looks really nice. The wheel's centered in the arch. Now we just need some uh, better fitted wheels to fit the arch. But yes, yeah, we're going to pop the wheels off and actually try and work What we'll out. have to do as well is check the, the camber to make sure we're level so then when we do come out, we're not then going to yeah, yeah. push it outside. It doesn't look too bad. But no, too I bad. think that looks really smart and uh, it weren't too bad a job, to be honest. That no, wasn't what, bad at all, What do you it? reckon? No, yeah, well, it's, it's more stress than anything because yeah. obviously you're drilling the body, drilling the carbon, it's like... Mm. Now it comes together, carbon and the blue. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Perfection. I'll tell you what will look nice as well is once you get this little boot cover on, which we fitted a long time ago, because it was pre-paint, I bet that looks really smart. Yeah. If it'll go on the popper still. Yeah. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, stop it. Dreamy. There we go. Well, There you go, that. That's Perfect. Right. Perfect. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to... Uh, Give this video a big thumbs up because uh, if you watched it this far, you obviously didn't hate it. No, and touch, <laughs> touch that bell icon to uh, keep informed. Obviously, we're dropping videos every week. Yeah, we're going to try and do some more lives in September because obviously we're aware that everyone's away on holiday still. Yeah, so a bit of a, a summer holiday thing. Yeah. But yeah, until next time, guys. Bye for now.